to my reflections. <laughs> Reflecting just literally for myself. I, I talk to myself quite a lot and it's almost a self-development practice for me that if I reflect and at the same time I might as well share it with you that you might have a mirror be in a similar space and you might be like, oh, I get, I resonate, I get a fair bit out of that. This isn't about me kind of teaching and sharing and telling you what to do by any means. It's just me sharing my truth in the hope that it might resonate, accord within you as well at the same time. And a nice reminder to myself about, like, because self-development is a big deal. It's a big deal. And I wondered what's like my, my main takeaway from everything that I've learned self-development wise. Like what is, what's that thing? And I think my biggest takeaway has certainly been resourcefulness. That the, the like huge golden egg that I have from self-development is resourcefulness. That it's like this flexibility that keeps me safe because I can always call on my resourcefulness in any kind of situation. Like, Everything's always renegotiable. There's always a win-win. Even if it hasn't gone my way, you know, if, if, if something's just come into my space, it's less, I'm like, that's not the end of it. There's, there's always renegotiation. There's resourcefulness. I can, how can I tweak this, you know? I don't have to just take it. Um, it's not set in stone, you know. There's a, there's a move, there's a pivot, there's something to see, there's resourcefulness. And I think I learned this when, um, like, the main thing was money on literally doing my self-development training. Like, getting the, the coaching course was, like, thousands. And it was about, okay, I didn't have the money. Do I just take that or can I be resourceful? Can I make this? How important is this in my life? Can I do more work, get a second job, find a way around it, borrow it, ask, do whatever it took. And I was like, I can, I am capable of that because if this was about getting the money for my daughter's health, I would be resourceful as F. Like nothing would stop me. And I was like, why can't I do that for myself? This is my health, this is my life and it's therefore my daughter's because I wanna be the best mum for her, therefore. Let's package that into one thing and really make sure that we we make this happen. And of course, money came into my space because I had decided, yes, this is what I'm doing, committed to doing it, everything worked out and I could afford it easily. And I was like, wow. And that came from like a, a clear decision and resourcefulness of, okay, when we meet up with something, what's, what's here for us? Because there's... And still now with my work, there's so many people that I think is £35 for the cacao ticket. That's not a lot of money. You could borrow that, find it from somewhere. If, if you don't have that extra on your weekly shopping, 35 quid, you can, I, you can ask a friend. You could just do an extra babysitting job to find that amount of money. Do you see? It's not thousands. And you still get people that um, will message me in saying, oh, I don't even have money for a bus fare. And I'm like... It's not that you can't afford 35 quid, it's, it's the resourcefulness. You could resource 35 pounds and get a lift from somebody or, you know, an extra whatever it is for the bus. You, you just could. And <clears throat> it's more that the, the, the decision and the thought loop of those people that just say, I can't afford it, I can never afford it. And then, What's interesting is, I don't know if you've read The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. This is amazing. It's about upper limiting behaviours, how we energetically upper limit ourselves. And this is why even if you are stuck in that loop, if you win something like the lottery or loads of money comes into your space from inheritance, you'll lose it because you're still in the thought story of, I can't afford it, I don't have enough. If you don't have that resourcefulness turned on and you do get money come into your space... For some reason, there's so many stories 
and I even know somebody personally close to me that this same thing exactly happened to them, the inheritance, then within a year, everything's gone. Hundreds of thousands, just gone. Because the story and the thought loop is still, I can't afford it and I'm not rich and I've never been rich and that's the words that come out of their mouth and that's the story and that's the loop, therefore, that's their reality. Instead of, I'm going to be resourceful. Rather than say, I can't afford it, to be like, pause, I'm going to do my best, I'm going to be resourceful, I'm going to see what happens. Just to say, I'm going to be resourceful rather than, I am poor, or I can't afford it, or that kind of, keep verbally blocking yourself and stating that out into the universe. It's like, but I'm resourceful. I can be resourceful. Let me see, let me sit with that. I'll see what ideas I can come up with, what creative parts of me can figure this out. And that's like, anything could happen in my life, but nobody can take my resourcefulness away. Like no one, anything could happen. And I'm like, I would then just work 10 times harder. I would get three jobs, I would do this, I would go to the ends of the earth, I will make it happen. And that feels so good and so safe because it's like I am in charge of my destiny, as it were. I got it. Resourcefulness. And self-development has taught me that because before that I was very they've already said no, you can't change somebody else's, yeah, but I can't do that, and I, oh, I couldn't get there, oh, and I was, I had that kind of I can't block, and I was scared and stressed, and I would make excuses, and I couldn't do this because of my health, and I was scared to go here because of my health, and oh, I'd never been here before, and I really have, have really flipped that around so that it's completely the opposite, and I've fine-tuned the resourcefulness which makes me feel good makes me feel safe and capable alive free yeah so thank you for me <laughs>